Evening, a small group gathered in downtown Idaho Falls catching the eye of drivers today. They braved the cold conditions standing on the Broadway Bridge in solidarity with the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. Still cold. Everything is getting colder. Braving More bitter cold attitude. temperatures, these men and women are making a statement. There's so many reasons why it's important to me. They gathered in downtown Idaho Falls to stand in solidarity with the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, a Native American tribe fighting to keep an oil pipeline away from their land. It's a civil right. These are these are people who are the native of our land, and police are being militarized by you know, a company that doesn't even belong in America. It's a, it's a Canadian company. With signs, flags, and their voices, those who gathered on the Broadway Bridge did so, hoping their message would be heard by the hundreds of drivers who passed by. It's important to keep the land safe for our children and our children's children and the future generations. And we don't want it to affect this. The fight for those like Kimberly is far from over. It's just beginning. She says despite the Army Corps of Engineers halting the project a week ago, supporters of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe are not backing down. The company that's drilling has come out and said we'll just pay the $50,000 a day. Um, basically January 1st, if they don't get this pipeline built and going, then they're going to start losing a lot of money. And so they are not backing down and neither will we. Try to Tensions between protesters and Cannonball and police are letting up. This comes after law enforcement agreed to pull back forces at the Backwater Bridge. That's where protesters have clashed with police. The North Dakota National Guard met with veterans in three different tribes to discuss moving forward. The talks were described as good and a mutual understanding was agreed to. Thousands of people have been in the area protesting the construction of the Dakota Access Pipeline near that tribal land. If you go down there now, you're going to see nothing. What you're going to see now is the barricades. You're going to see the Jersey barriers. You're going to see the, uh, the, the wire that's been strung to keep people from coming across. And you're not going to see a law enforcement officer. You're not going to see one vehicle standing there unless, or sitting there unless it's you know, a patrol vehicle pulling up just to take a look or, or that type of thing. Members of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe fear the close proximity of the pipeline to native land could hurt the tribe's water supply and economy. Those who support the pipeline believe it will help make America more self-reliant on oil. The company behind the pipeline, Energy, Energy Transfer Partners out of Dallas, has vowed to finish the project. President-elect Donald Trump does support the project. He says he will look at it after he is in office.